Welcome everyone, Quistine here on Serious Gaming with a discussion on why mouse and keyboard is better than a controller for Dark Souls 3. Now I do want to be very clear that I'm not doing this video because I'm some mouse and keyboard fanboy. No, I'm doing this because I played with the controller for a reasonable amount of time in Dark Souls 1, Dark Souls 2, Dark Souls 3. And I made an argument with Dark Souls 2 that mouse and keyboard was better for that game. And here I am for Dark Souls 3 making the exact same argument. And I have my reasons. It has nothing to do with the fact that I prefer mouse and keyboard. Whatever you prefer, that's probably, you know, whatever you are better at, personally, that's what you should play with. That's one of the main things you should take in consideration. Not some objective advantage here and there, but what you are better at. However, for a long time we heard, you know, people who play mouse and keyboard, we heard for a long time, oh, you should play with controller, it's much better with controller. Why? Because it feels better? That's not really an advantage. You know, just because there are people who can handle uh, who are capable of handling it That's much better with too. the controller than mouse and keyboard that doesn't mean there aren't people and a good number of people who don't play with the controller at all on PC or people who are much worse with a controller than mouse and keyboard but there are certain uh, advantages with mouse and keyboard versus a controller and I want to talk about uh, these advantages now when my Dark Souls 2 video well with Dark Souls 2 you can rebind the controller keys. You can do it here in Dark Souls 3. So some of the disadvantages that you get to the controller are made up if you bind your keys in a certain way, to a certain extent, not completely, however. So what are the advantages with mouse and keyboard, the objective advantages with mouse and keyboard? N not how it feels, but certain objective advantages. First and foremost, camera control. It's much easier and you're much going to be much more accurate with the mouse and keyboard, or well, just the mouse, then with the thumb uh, stick. That's just simple. You know, it's no, it's been known for a while. It's been known for, for shooters. You're going to be able to shoot uh, much better with ranged weapons. With the mouse and keyboard, you're going to be able to uh, move the camera a lot better. And having good camera control is actually quite essential for certain builds uh, in this game, in particular PvP pyromancy builds. I, I, that's not something I play as personally, but um, you know, that that's one of the things that I've heard. On that subject, but either way, you're gonna have better camera control with mouse and keyboard. Uh, another thing, the entire menu, the, all the menus in Dark Souls 3 are mouse driven. You're gonna be able to navigate those menus much easier with the mouse and keyboard than you would with the controller. It's annoying that the prompts are for a controller because you know then things are much better, but you know, you can figure out what the keys do in the menus just by looking at the settings because they do tell you what each action corresponds to what prompt. That's not the best way of doing things. We should get mouse and keyboard prompts. Stop being lazy on that subject from software. But beyond that, you know, it handles just fine. The menu works just fine, perfectly fine with mouse and keyboard. Completely mouse driven, no real problem with that uh, subject. So, and, so that's one advantage. Another advantage is well by default with an xbox controller and which is a lot what a lot of people are going to be using if they are gaming on pc xbox 360 or xbox one controller whatever your choice is on the subject i have an xbox one controller uh a lot of people are probably going to have an xbox 360 controller so with an xbox controller and well you have the same situation with the ps4 controller uh, or any controller really i don't know really all that much about the steam controller but that's I don't know how many people have a Steam controller, but anyway, with the mainstream controllers, that is. Uh, for instance, if you want to switch spells, items, left-hand weapon, right-hand weapon, you have to lose your movement control because you have to move your left thumb from the thumbstick, the left thumbstick, to the D-pad to be able to switch between them. And incidentally, on mouse and keyboard, I did a guide on how to set up controls, and one of the things I talked about was scroll, uh, switching between enemies with the scroll wheel by using an auto hotkey script, but I didn't realize you could just switch between enemies by flicking the mouse left if you want to switch to the left uh, enemy or right to a right enemy. So that allows you to use the scroll wheel to switch between spells and items, not weapons, but spells and items, and you're going to be able to do it much faster than with the D-pad, but you will also not lose movement control while doing that, because you can switch that perfectly fine without losing, or only partially losing, depending on how your keys are set up, movement control. So I have my spells, items, weapons, uh, right-handed, left-hand weapons, 
on one, two, four. I do lose uh, a bit of movement control, but not complete. I can still move, I can still control the camera, and that's actually quite very useful. Because it allows you to switch stuff while you're running away from an enemy, for instance, while dodging an enemy's attacks, and that's kind of quite useful. Uh, then, another advantage is the f is with regards to camera control in ABYX. If you want to uh, dodge or switch from a uh, one-handed grip to a two-handed grip, uh, or use an item, or interact with something, interact with an object, you're going to have to move your right thumb to, AB to one of the the prompts a b y x to get that done now you can change the this because the uh, key binds are rebindable in dark souls 3 even for a controller which is a pretty good uh, thing to happen in the series but you're still going to be in an inherent disadvantage you're not going to be able to do the same thing as you would on a pc on pc you don't sacrifice your movement controls or your camera controls if you want to achieve something like this like you can control the camera perfectly fine and dodge run switch to two-handed grip uh, use an item all at the same time with the mouse and keyboard and that's an objective advantage and that's really what it comes down to that's what you are gonna get with mouse and keyboard there are no major issues I guess I guess the biggest issue is with mouse and keyboard perhaps is with the prompts but that's such a minor and significant issue in the large scheme of things and it's only something that really applies when you're navigating the menus and you get used to it eventually it's like a, it's an insignificant thing with Dark Souls 1 the issue was well it wasn't with the keyboard controls those are perfectly fine and even, in fact Dark Souls 1 has the best default setup for mouse and keyboard because the, when Dark Souls 2 and Dark Souls 3 they were like oh let's set this up to, similar to a controller people are not gonna play with mouse and keyboard the same way they're gonna play with the controller but Dark Souls 1, they set up the best uh, keybinds by default, so that was perfectly fine. Uh, but the problem was Dark Souls 1 was with the camera control. The mouse was too damn sensitive in the game. Uh, whereas in Dark Souls 2, because they decided, oh yeah, let's treat the mouse keyboard as controller, what they did was add the ability for you to double press or have these combos of keys like shift plus mouse click or something like that. And that created input lag because they did that. Now you could disable that, they added that in a patch, but initially it wasn't available. So you had an input lag issue there. In Dark Souls 3 you don't have that problem. Though you can use those shift left mouse, right mouse, click, whatever you want to use. I mean, you can use those shift control alt with the mouse, whatever mouse binds you want. Uh, and will work just fine, no real input delay. There are various bugs and glitches that I've noticed in the game. Like, there is a problem on PC. I think it's a problem because of the 60 FPS. It's a problem that's been in Dark Souls 2. It's a problem in Dark Souls 3. For things like kick and jump attack, in particular, your window of opportunity to perf to perform them uh, at 60 FPS is uh, much lower than you do uh, you have it at 30 FPS. Like it's much easier to get kicks and jump attacks, for instance, in Dark Souls 1. <laughs> Even when you're using a mod to get 60 FPS, then it isn't Dark Souls 2 or 3, which is just really baffling considering everything that's happened since then and the fact that while Dark Souls 2 is be the best version of Dark Souls 2 is on PC, the best version of Dark Souls 3 is on PC. I guess even the best version of Dark Souls 1 is on PC because you don't go for Blighttown and have your FPS drop to, to less than 20 or something along those lines. So obviously there are... <laughs> it's come a long way, right? It's not just mouse and keyboard being better than a controller. And I've made my reasons here. You can disagree all you want. I've you know tried to be as objective and factual as I can. Obviously, I prefer mouse and keyboard. And again, whatever you prefer, whatever you're personally better at, play with that, because that counts a lot more than any objective advantage. But the objective advantage uh, does count as well, you know, in terms of an argument. Anyway, it does give people a certain advantage, anyway. Uh, but we've come a long way, not just in the sense that, not just in the sense of mouse and keyboard being better than the controller, but Dark Souls 3 being best played on a PC, 60 FPS, better graphics, you know, better situation overall, rebindable keys, all that. I'm not sure if on a, a console you can rebind the keys, I'd imagine they would give you that option. Also, Steam controller support for uh, Dark Souls 3, which is, you know, good. You know, it's come a long way.
And Dark Souls coming to PC was actually a pretty important thing uh, to happen in gaming because it, it showed Japanese developers that yes, there is a market on PC for their games and they're bringing more and more games. I think Dark Souls coming to PC and being successful on PC convinced you know, people like Kojima and Konami to bring Metal Gear Solid uh, to PC, Metal Gear Solid 5. So that's great. Anyway, that's all I had to say on this subject. Kwasin here on Serious Gaming signing out. Don't forget to subscribe and like the video.